Well, I went on record. I went on NFLEurope.com as saying this year there's going to be no German involvement. And I said that just to have some fun because nobody knows. At the start of the season, all six teams just start with a clean sheet of paper. So I said this year it's going to be Scotland because I thought the home field advantage thing might just work in their favour like it did in 96. And I said Amsterdam because I say Amsterdam every year and never do they get there. So I'm thinking if I come off Amsterdam, this is the year they're going to get there. So once again I said Amsterdam. But after two weeks of the season, you know what? It looks like nothing has really changed. It looks like the Ryan Fire are going to be there or there about with this, with this defense that they run and that ball control offense that they run. I think the Ryan Fire could be the team to beat. Frankfurt seems to have a lot of components in place now. Now they've got that quarterback situation seemingly sorted out. Those two guys have settled down. They're looking good again. Um, Scotland, though, as we saw in week one, potentially they can do some damage. The question is, can they do it on a consistent basis? The good side is that they've got a good steady quarterback, they've got a very strong offensive line, they've got a very good defensive front seven. Uh, they need to work on their secondary, they need to work on some consistency in the passing game, uh, and they need to improve on their special teams. Now, all of that is achievable. You know, the, the, all the ingredients are there potentially for the Claymores to get everything together. Good for the game in Scotland, good for the league, good for the Claymores fans. I think it's, it's good all the way around. I, I think it's always good to have a home team in the World Bowl. It really does help build everything up. The biggest surprise for me, and it shouldn't be a surprise, was Berlin getting off to an 0-2 start. They shouldn't be 0-2. The, 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 there's an argument that says they're as good a team in the league as any team right now, but Peter Vast does this, doesn't he? He wants to be 0-2, so they can kick everybody up the backside and say, hey guys, we've got eight games to go off and win the World Bowl, and then they go and do it. So, I mean, I guess I'm surprised that Berlin are 0-2, but I think that's part of the Peter Vast's grand strategy. He wants to be 0-2 so he can frighten everybody. It's tough, isn't it? Because if we'd have asked about MVPs two weeks into the season last year, nobody would have mentioned Jamal Robertson. I don't think he'd even played at that point. And then he just went on and ripped it up. So, yeah, this guy at Ryan, Audrey Denson, I think is, is as good as anybody. I think Craig Knoll is probably the pick of the quarterbacks right now. It's always a wide receiver, a, a, a running back or a quarterback. It's never a wide receiver. So you're probably looking at Knoll or uh, Denson at the moment. But these two Scotland running backs, they, they could get on track as well. You, you're probably looking at those guys. Defensively, Again, we're looking at guys at this point of the season, they've had one good game somewhere. Joey Evans had one good week. Josh McKibben had one good week. Let's have a look at a guy that's had five good weeks in a row before we start really singling anybody out. I don't think it, nobody defensively has jumped out yet for me. They're steady. I don't think there's any world beaters there. Um, I think they're pretty steady. And I think it's, uh, it's been a while since we've had quarterbacks of, of this kind of experience. You know, you've got guys like Chris Grison that have come in that have been three years on a roster. Craig Knoll that was backing up Brett Favre. Uh, Henry Burris who was playing for Chicago. You know, very often the quarterbacks that we get in uh, are, are guys we don't know a lot about. Now we're getting guys that have got some NFL experience behind them. So, and I think that's showing. You know, we've not had the peaks and troughs that we've had in previous years, I don't think. You know, we've had guys that are kind of working within the systems, just getting the feel of what NFL Europe is all about because this league doesn't operate like any other league. You can't just come in and light it up in this league. It doesn't happen. So I, I think as a, as a group, that I think they're steady. <laughs> Differences between this year and last year? Probably not, you know. I think this league has settled into what it is now, you know, a developmental league where young kids come in and get a chance to show what they can do. Um, the surprise for me was in week one when we had that, that offensive explosion, certainly in Scotland, because normally you're expecting defences to be on top in the early weeks. So uh, that, that was a shock to see all those points getting put up, particularly in, in Scotland. You know, 93 points, I think it was. That, that was a phenomenon. But then, of course, last week it all got shut down again. So it's like normal service got restored. I think uh, it's always around weeks four, five, six, you realise what kind of a season you've got. I think potentially this could be a good one, and it could be an even one as well.